Freedom to Speech Radio. Coming up today on Backchat. I ripped off three years last weekend in Gravesend. Yeah, and but Max, me, that's not legal. They were happy to lose them. I've never seen anyone sustain an erection whilst looking at a tennis ball strapped to a broom handle. Today on Backchat, we are talking equality. We have on the line Max, who believes that women's sport uh, should be more respected. Max, are you there? Yes, I am, and I believe it, feel it, live it. I would say my main area of sport is combat, like like skin to skin blood sport. So, Max, can I just ask you how how many women in this country play in these blood sport leagues? Uh, forty four at the moment. It was forty five, but we we had an accident. I didn't know that people still actually did it. Oh yeah, when was the last time you were in Kent? I don't go to Kent. But so, so how did you get into these sports? Like, what, it, it, you know, did someone teach you? Well, it's, it's in my family. Goose pulling, alligator wrestling, insect fighting, monkey what? baiting, ram fighting. It's all, just fight- fight- it's all just fighting animals, though. Oh, well, yeah, but we're not, we don't do that anymore. We're not, <laughs> right. no, we, we've progressed. But yeah. no, my, my mother was the last uh, human to animal fighter. She was a goose puller in the 70s. And where, where was this happening? Ken. Also on the line, we have uh, we have Madge. Now, you're saying that um, you don't play any sports, so you don't think women should be playing professional sports? There are several sports that uh, women should play, um, and there's several that actually they should not. Um, I love looking at um, synchronised swimming, um, but another one that I think is very, very um, tricky is um, ballot. Um, that ba- is a very... It's sometimes ba- not considered a sport. Ballot. Um Ballet, yes. It's a form of um, expressive dance. Ballet? Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, there are a more s- actual challenging sports, you know, mentally as well. Have you heard of mathematics? Have I, have I heard of what? A mathematics. It's, it's a, um, a sport of the mind. Mathematics? Absolutely, yes, mathematics. Um, you know what? I think I agree with Max on one point there because I would. there is a lady in the village that um, I would love to... Let's just say bloody up a little bit. Um, right. I, I would like to say challenge her to a, a dishwashing competition. I have been... No, I'm sorry. Know, I, I ripped off three years last weekend in Gravesend. Yeah, and but Max, me, that's not legal. They were happy to lose them. Well, well think about the, the burden on the NHS of you ripping off women's ears on an estuary we in Kent. We don't to the NHS. We use our traditional medieval doctor with thread and yarn. Oh, think of how much money they'll save on earrings. <laughs> <laughs> endearing. Good point, Max. Don't buy them anymore. So, Max and Madge, uh, astonishingly, we we found some common ground. You may even end up being friends. I'm, I'll be a coach, you know. Definitely, I'll bring you to one of my croquette shows. You what? Croquette. We we make things. Crochet. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, speaking of equality, we've also got uh, Gordon on the line. He's a well-known British porn actor, and he's going to be arguing that male actors should be paid the same as their female counterparts. And so you, are you saying that you're uh, underpaid as a porn actor? So some of the films I'm making, I'm making with three or four ladies. That, that's, they're doing a quarter of the time on screen that I'm doing. I'm, I'm going around all four of them, and wow. I'm paid 25 to 60% of what they're paid for, for doing but a do, quarter do you, do you of not the work. think in a lot of jobs you get paid more money the more unpleasant the job is? I don't know what you're saying, Ash. I, I, I don't I don't know where you're going with that. I don't know what you're... I, I'm just saying, like... This if... is the other outrage, Ash, is that they can just go from scene to scene to scene. It takes it takes them it takes of course. The, the, the men in the industry. We've got to recharge. We've got to refuel, Ash. What's your sort of recharge time then? How many how many can you do a day? It depends, Ash, but maybe three. Maybe three. But I'll, I'll be honest. It's all right. The quality of the money shot is diminishing as the day goes on. Yeah, that's true. Um, now, listen, we've also got on the line, we've got Hans, who's a, a, a director you've worked with. Uh, Hans, uh, so you've worked with uh, Gordon Grenades before. Uh, yeah, many a time. And, uh, and, and, and I'll start you... by saying yeah. that it's not male performers who are paid less. It's that particular male performer. Because, you know, his nickname Grenades isn't because he's explosive. It's because he's a really bad shot. Gordon, it feels like this is performance-related pay rather than an equality issue. I I don't don't know what to say. When we were making Big Knobs and Broomsticks, 
that that you were all over the place with the production values on that, and it was me. It was oh, me okay. with my in, insights and my <clears> ideas that rescued <throat> that that project. That wasn't my fault. Half of the women were animated. Right. Let's... The problem with that production as well is even the voice actors doing the voices for the animated characters got paid more than me. I was in it. What you've got to uh, re remember here, Gordon, is that we also had to get pay the voice actors to do your voice. I did an online survey, and the Scouse accent is just is the third least sexiest. You just one below Birmingham. So we had to have you dubbed. What's top? Oh, middle class. Uh, that's a big one. Gordon and Hans, I'm sure you can, you know, sort this out. But this is this is really nothing to do with our listeners. Like our listeners don't want to hear this personal argument. I mean, to, to be honest, Hans, I, I have I have missed working with you, and I'm I'm working on um, his stepdaughter Bum Slaughter Five at the moment. But uh, to be honest, I'm not enjoying it. And um, it went downhill after three that franchise. Yeah. I mean, if I can just say that the the work you've been doing within the animated uh, adult film area has been it's been groundbreaking mate um monsters twink shagatar the avengers have sex it's nice to see that appreciation and, and, and back to you i've never seen anyone sustain an erection whilst looking at a tennis ball strapped to a broom handle and next up we have beatrice on the line she'd just like to respond to one of the callers from previously hello beatrice i am calling in response to a caller i heard earlier okay she referred to herself as madge but she's known locally as margaret oh this is um madge who was talking about the synchronized swimming she's my neighbor and uh oh. well, Ma madge was... is about to challenge you to a duel you know this I have offered Madge a duel years ago. I f have spent... But so, I mean, what, what, what's Madge done, really? What, what, what stuff has she annoyed uh, you with? What's the problem? It does come down often to garden politics. You mm. know, I'll be growing my vegetables. And before So you'll be growing I, what? I'll be working on my vegetable patch. On your what, before, on your vegetable patch? And before I know it, she's Beatrice? out there working on her vegetable patch. Your vegetable patch? And yeah, she'll be um, growing exactly what I'm growing, you know, cucumbers. Yeah, on the, veg um, on the vegetable patch. Carrots. Go. Browad beans. Okay, thank you, Beatrice. 